Hi, this is Mike at Brash Monkey, and in this quick tip tutorial, we're going to cover something called tags, which are another gameplay related type of data that you can edit within Spryder. And these tags can give you an immense amount of control over what's often called a state engine or state machine in your game code. Let's take a combat related game, for example. During a specific animation, perhaps at a given point, the character is going to transition from a state where they are still vulnerable to attack to a state, in this case, where the character is now blocking, where he should be impervious to attack. So all I have to do is find that exact moment in the timeline where I want the character to transition from being vulnerable to becoming invulnerable, right about there, to be generous with the player. And I will double click on the metadata timeline or in the tags timeline that's within the metadata section there. Double click. And instead of editing up here, which is for variables, I'm going to type in a name for a tag under the add tag box, and we'll call it invulnerable. Oops, there we go, invulnerable. And I'm going to press enter, and that created this tag. And now it's in the available tags uh, column. And I'm going to check this box, and that creates the keyframe. And now I'm going to, because at this moment, I want the character to be invulnerable. So I just click and drag from the available tags to the active tags box. And now the character will have, let me close this. Now the character will have the state of invulnerability set from that point on in the timeline. Uh, in this particular animation, he blocks for a period of time and then he stands back up out of the blocked position. So let's say from right about here, we want him to be vulnerable again. I would just double click in the metadata timeline and then uh, click key tags and then choose this uh, invulnerable state from the active tags and make it no longer active again. So now the character goes from uh, the default, which is vulnerable to invulnerable because that tag has now been set in here active and then throughout this entire duration he would be invulnerable and then this keyframe sets him back to being vulnerable which means he no longer has the invulnerable tag set to active so you can create and stack any number of tags that you need for any given character or animation. And uh, the sky's the limit with your uh, imagination or what is needed with your particular uh, game engine. And it could be anything from whether or not the character is vulnerable or whether or not they can be counter attack at that point, or whether or not an attack requires a, uh, a high block, a medium block, or a low block. All of those sorts of things can be set at the exact moment you need and then turned off at the exact moment you need within any given animation. And that's it for this quick tip tutorial. I hope it was useful and thank you very much for watching.